Are you one of the lucky ones who had an older sibling, a mentor, or perhaps a friend who used to be your protector? This person was a trailblazer who paved the way for your easy transition. Or probably someone whose reputation was so amazing, being merely associated with this person immediately rubbed itself on you, even if you didn't do anything to deserve it. This is a story of a 65-year-old lady named Miracles, or Milagros in the Vernacular. Before you start holding a mental picture of Santa Maria de Milagros, let me stop you now and say that she's far from that image. Picture her instead as a sassy granny who had been fortunate enough to maintain her curvaceous figure and loves to show it off with her sexy and trendy outfits, most of them designed by her, fashionable bags and shoes with matching outrageous accessories at every opportunity. She also loves to have her pictures taken, posing like a veteran model. I'm the living witness to the miraculous transformation of this venerable lady. You see her now as a lively, generous, funny, high-spirited, big-hearted, community-oriented, and somewhat spiritual woman, but she didn't always start out this way. Being born next to a pretty little princess who became the apple of everyone's eyes, unfortunately, Milagros had no exceptional or striking features to speak of. Hence, at a young age, she learned to use everything in her power to grab attention to herself, even sometimes resorting to malevolent ways. Even as a young girl, she wasn't intimidated by any authority, whereas her younger sister would shrink and cower with fear at the mere sight of her tyrannical aunt, Milagros would methodically slash the favorite shoes and handbags of her repressive aunt if she tried her autocratic ways on her. No one was spared by the revenge of the feisty little terror named Milagros. One day, her kindergarten sister came home from school with chewing gum glued to her hair by a classmate that they had to cut a large portion of her hair off. Immediately the next day, Milagros went searching for the culprit. At grade 3, she already looked mean and someone you didn't want to mess around with. In front of everyone at recess, she chewed a gum, deliberately spat it out, and stuck it in the perpetrator's hair for revenge. From then on, every time her younger sister would pass by, her classmates would respectfully give way and part to the sides like the miracle of the Red Sea. At home, Milagros had the habit of slapping the faces of the housekeepers if they didn't comply with her demands. With exasperation, her mother threatened to bring her to juvenile girls' town if she continued to misbehave. Without any hesitation, Milagros packed a suitcase faced her mother in defiance and coldly declared she was ready to be brought to the juvenile girl's town. She was like that drop of water separated from its source. She felt alone, angry, restless, feisty, and unloved. She even started believing the despicable childish ridicules made by her siblings that she was just adopted and was only salvaged from the garbage bin as a baby. In her junior high school, the Belgian guidance counselor, Sister Mary Agnes, recognized the untapped and misguided leadership qualities Milagros had in her. Mentoring her through senior year, Milagros slowly began the journey towards her miraculous transformations. 
Milagros proceeded to St. Paul College to complete her nursing degree. Maybe she should have been named Milagros Paula because in so many ways, the conversion and transformation of Milagros resembled many of St. Paul's own conversion. Before he was miraculously converted, St. Paul was Saul, the ferocious warrior who methodically persecuted the Christians. He was strong, intelligent, fierce, but misguided in his beliefs. The Lord tapped into his strengths and channeled his sights through the other side of humanity. Like St. Paul, Milagros became fiercely loyal to God and a great missionary after her miraculous transformation and conversion. I've often wondered where this 65-year-old, 5-foot-tall, no more and no less, 125-pound lady who barely sleeps gets all her energy to engage hands-on to her many real estate construction projects actively participate with their community development undertakings and religious organizations, use her creativity to solicit funds for her numerous charitable missions, help various friends and relatives in need, visit the sick, go to all the wakes, at least before the pandemic, and still have time to binge watch her favorite Korean telenovelas. Do you want to know what her secret is? From being a drop of water separated from its source when she was a child, upon conversion, she rejoined the mighty ocean and became one with all its power. Not everyone can do this. I myself have been trying to no avail. You see, several things need to happen at the same time to achieve this mighty power. First, being one with the Source or the Universe or God means you have to forget your individuality and appreciate that things are bigger than you alone. You care for all the people around you and you have to connect with them, neither considering yourself higher or lower than any of them. It's like You've merged with all the individual drops of water to become the powerful waves in the ocean. Despite her busy schedule, Milagros always tries to connect. She communicates regularly, asking how you are, sharing her stories, updating you with people who got sick or just died, listens with intent and genuine interest to your stories, and always gives her sometimes out of the box but practical pieces of advice. Second, if you've already joined the ocean, you know that it's foolish to look at the world through the minute eyes of an individual drop of water. Instead, you don't use your physical eyes, but your spiritual eyes, which does not confine itself to the realm of the five senses. Through well-developed instincts, you see what your tiny eyes can't see, you hear what your minuscule ears don't hear, and you smell what your insignificant nose can't smell. Milagros has honed her gut feel and has a way of looking at the world from the inside rather than the outside. Thirdly, Milagros is very much aware of her imperfections and accepts the imperfections of others without judgment. You can be totally your authentic self with her. No pretensions necessary because she understands. She doesn't give idealistic and virtuous or righteous pieces of advice, but rather brutally honest and pragmatic ones. She always looks at the bigger picture and believes that humanity is like an ocean. If a few drops of water are dirty, the Ocean Does Not Become Dirty by Gandhi In conclusion, I've yet to meet anyone who doesn't love the vibrant Milagros. She lights up even the darkest room 
with her vivaciousness and brightens the dreariest life with her quick-witted sense of humor. She's so down-to-earth yet upholds high religious morals. She has so much energy it actually spills over not only to the people around her but to the whole community. From a misguided and mean-spirited child, she has miraculously blossomed into a well-balanced, caring person who lives in servitude for her community, friends, and loved ones. Like St. Paul, she is winning the race by keeping the faith. Throughout her life, not just one miracle has occurred, but several amazing ones to shape her as she is now befitting the name Miracles or Milagros. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and put your comments below. You can also double click the title to see the links to the other episodes. Alright, see you later!